Or could you tell me what was the project with this uh, Biennale in Sharjah? What is your aim? My aim with the Biennale, I mean, it's a difficult one because, um, you know, I took over the Biennale 20 years ago um, as an artist growing up in Sharjah. It was a really important platform for me. Um, so my, my reasoning for being part of the biennial and really working so hard for the last 20 years to, to make it what it is, is because I could see how inspiring it was for me in the 90s and I know what the possibilities are for future generations. And now 20 years running it, I can see a big difference, but it takes time. It's not an overnight project. Um, that's also another reason why this biennial I postponed by two years because it was an important edition, 15th edition, which is 30 years of Sharjah Biennial. And for me, it's not something that can be rushed. Um, it's important for us to think of the title that Okwi um, suggested for the biennial, thinking historically in the present. He really wanted to think of the history of Sharjah Biennial, but also thinking historically in terms of the post-colonial constellation, which is a historic show he wanted to do for this biennial, uh, including uh, some new commissions. So I thought postponing it by two years, especially since a lot of artists and uh, our team, everybody was going through so much during the pandemic. Um, I thought, you know, we talk a lot about care in the art world, but not a lot of people practice it. So it was important to just slow down and just focus on what needs to be done. And so, what shall we see here? Well, as I've said, um, you need at least four days to see the, the biennial, uh, a week even better. So the biennial, re I'm, I've always been interested in decentering. You know, for me, it's not about having one destination. So uh, you could see for the last number of uh, biennials, we had um, spaces and works um, exhibited in the towns of Alhamriya and Kalba. Um, since then, uh, the Kalba Ice Factory, which is a former fish feed factory named the Ice Factory uh, because of um, fishermen storing ice there, um, has been renovated. So there's a new renovation of that building with architects, 511 Architectos from Peru, from Lima. Um, so that's a new space. I mean, there's, it's an old space, but it's newly developed. So that's also really nice to see, including the kindergarten that was used in 2019 by Mohamed Borwisa um, in the last biennial. Uh, we also have a new space, which is the old Khorfa Khan Courthouse, which uh, has our uh, art center in it. So um, Sharjah Art Foundation has art centers that does workshops in seven cities in Sharjah. Mm. Five of those cities now have a biennial uh, presence as well. Um, a new space is Al Zaid Farm. So it's a farmland in the desert area. Um, there we have an old palace uh, that's just been renovated, including an, uh, an old farm and an old uh, medical clinic that um, we've had as part of the biennial spaces, but we're waiting for uh, the right time to renovate it because uh, during COVID, they were doing COVID tests there as well. But the uh, the clinic is uh, the preventative clinic. It's um, semi-renovated and it houses a lot of artists' works, including a new commission uh, right behind the clinic by Amar Kanwar. And then Hamriya, which has been used as well in uh, two biennials in the past. We now also have uh, a large intervention, landscape intervention by Kerry James Marshall. Wow. And uh, the building opposite, which is an old government building, also has the new commission by Yinka Shonabare at the entrance there. So there's definitely a lot to see. But what is the uh, artistic spirit, if we, if we could summarize it? Artistic spirit? I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. I think, you know, this biennial is not about rushing around to see as much as possible. It's about taking time. There's a lot of film. There's a lot of uh, spaces of, of contemplation. You know, in uh, Beta Sarkal, you see in the courtyard, a uh, very moving work by Wengechi Mutu, a new commission. Um, you know, I encourage people to spend time in that space and really think about each work and where it's coming from and what story it's trying to tell and how is that relevant to what's happening around us in the world these days. But if there's, a, if there's something told by these artists, 
when uh, when you hanged everything yeah. and you went to bed you thought wow i learned something today which was well, i'm always learning things every day not only from the artist but from my team from my from people no around, but, the, but the world is changing dramatically it's now for sure and so this biennial is also a new way of looking at the world no for sure but i think you know what's been great is i've had this in my head for the last four, four years so seeing it unfolding has been great and seeing how other people were react artists were reacting to each other's works as well you know in the opening i mentioned people stayed for six seven days and artists stayed and spent time in each other's works you know seeing nary ward who stayed and did his work at, at kalba ice factory and traveled back and forth but also came and enjoyed the opening and watched every single film um, Kerry James Marshall going to meet younger artists who this worked with cool. it. it was a really great experience that and uh, coming together for sure there wasn't um, it wasn't just about um, an event or a celebration but people really spent time with each other's works and I think that was really really special for me um, another thing is that you know we have a lot of artists in the Bayana, but a lot of artists have a lot of space as well. It doesn't feel like it's a crammed exhibition. I wanted to give each artist practice the room to not only breathe, but to express what it's trying to say. And I spend time with every single artist in the process. So it's been a, a relationship. And now that the biennial is open, we're preparing for the March meeting and some performances throughout the next couple of months. But I just you know want to be here every day and and spend time in the biennial. Um, so the so lesson of this biennial is taking time. Take time, yeah, take time. You work with artists, and people never have time to spend with the artists. They never have time to appreciate the work, or they they want to watch the film on their computer. Send me a link, but it's not about that. It's a, it's about every little detail, how the work is installed, how the the sound surrounds you, how. I mean, that's really important when you're trying to exhibit and produce the best exhibition you can. Merci, madame. Merci.